Hi, I'm Andre Faust. Well, spring came on on the 21st, but it also brought its little friend with it. Yeah, the flood. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're finally entered the season, and uh, up till the 26th, we were doing relatively well, but that uh, rain that we had, uh, that definitely affected uh, the rate that the river is rising uh, in, uh, let's look at the graph here just to make a little more sense here. So in a uh, very short period of time, uh, from the 26th to the 27th, we're looking at 11 and a half hours. Uh, and the river rose 1.56 meters. Uh, that translates to about uh, five inches per hour. And that was just from that little bit of rain that we've had. Now, we may be spared uh, because we're getting a bit of a cold spell, but there is more rain that's announced. Um, uh, so how that's going to affect us, I mean, if we get these in small dosages, uh, the dams have some control. So uh, when uh, you get the, you know, you, you get mass uh, snow melts and rains and everything working against you, that's when the, the dam can't keep up with you. Now, if you take a look at the uh, lower right uh, uh, photo, I, I took that on uh, March uh, the 10th. Uh, that was 17 days ago, and uh, there were still people there sledding up and down the old St. John River, and you'll notice that the, the arrow that comes uh, from there. Um, at that time, the river level was at uh, 1.37 uh, 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 meters. And uh, anyway, uh, so times went on, we see the graph slowly goes up, and uh, anyway, on March 26th, uh, the uh, water level was at 2.5, uh, 2.05, 2.06, somewhere in the vicinity, and then bang, in, uh, in a matter of, uh, like say, 11 and a half hours, it went to uh, uh, 3.6 uh, meters. So let's take a look at that first uh, uh, photo, uh, the one on the left-hand side. Uh, now that's taken, uh, you, you know, you can almost see where the shoreline is, and uh, of course you'll notice that uh, now that the water's in, you don't really see uh, the bushes on uh, uh, on the edge. Uh, they're pretty well gone. Uh, but I'm going to be using this type of shot uh, for future videos, and it's as a reference point to give an idea of how, you know, uh, you know, what it looks like at different levels. So let's um, move on to the one on the 27th. And, uh, you know, you can see, well, I guess you can still see some of the, uh, some of the bushes on the, uh, on the edge. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, but, you know, that, this is just the beginning. Now, I know when it gets bad is that when it gets about six inches from the top of my property, uh, that tells me, I don't have to look, I know that, you know, that uh, downtown, down behind City Hall, uh, there's water down there, uh, you know, Bark, you know, the lower part of Barker's Point is wiped out, uh, uh, Grand Lake is uh, going through hell, uh, Majorville, you know, uh, the cattle is, you know, it's just, it's just a horrendous uh, um, uh, event when that happens. Um, so, what I've did, I've taken my little drone and uh, I've recorded uh, some some footage, and I'm going to uh, do it at any of the major uh, uh, increases because the subtle ones you'll never notice. Uh, but you know, floods uh, they are a concern. I mean, as a result of our human activity, we've we've con we've contributed uh, to global warming, which uh, in effect uh, creates uh, climate change. Uh, but that's that's one part of the story. The other part of the story is urbanization, the laying out of asphalt. Uh, one big one that no one's paying attention is the infilling of the floodplain. Uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Uh, fill your bathtub full of water right to the brim, jump into it, and what's going to happen? It's going to overflow. Uh, because if you, dis if you displace uh, one cubic meter of... Uh, floodplain that translates into a thousand cubic liters of water being displaced. That water has to go somewhere. 
So hopefully we don't see it get any higher. But like I say, as of today, uh, you know, we don't know what it's going to do. Uh, it all depends what else, you know, falls after. And if we if we get a lot of rain continuous and cons consistently uh, warm weather, uh, yeah, we're going to be, you know, how high is the water rising? 50 feet high and rising, you know, it's that kind of, uh, <laughs> that, that kind of scenario. So uh, I don't have much more to say onto it as this uh, flood develops or does not develop. Uh, there'll be more information and uh, I'll try to uh, give you the best statistics that I can provide. So until then, take care, stay safe, and least but not last, stay dry.